Hello guys, uh, welcome back to the English version now. This video will be recorded in English uh, language this time because in Urdu, it, this lecture has already been recorded and uploaded. Okay, so the topic for today is a comparison between food, vitamins and hormones. We will compare food with vitamins and hormones. What is inside food? What are inside food? That is actually protein, carbohydrate and lipids. Three things. If we see proteins, protein enters our body tissue. If you focus on your body, you will realize that each and every part of the body consists of tissues and protein is the part of your tissue not only protein is the part of your tissue but also carbohydrate and lipids if you just check your skin your skin consists of protein your hair consists of protein your nail consists of protein so what i am actually going to tell you is that food enters your body and become the part of tissue become the part of your body tissue but vitamins also enter your body vitamins are present in your body but unlike food they do not become the part of your body tissue you will realize in the upcoming lectures that vitamins play specific role in our body but they never become the part of the tissue this is comparison number one if you see inside food you will see some other items like uh, carbohydrate and lipids carbohydrate and lipids beside their role as a part of body tissue they also release energy when they are broken down in the body means they are degrade degrade means breakdown when the carbohydrate and lipids degrade they release energy just like example is there glucose is a carbohydrate when it is broken down into carbon dioxide and water energy is released keeping this thing in our mind i would like to take you to the vitamins vitamins also play their role in energy production but the style is different vitamins don't degrade vitamins never degrade to give us energy however vitamins just play their role indirectly to release energy how we will discuss this idea once we start vitamin b complex vitamins and we will discuss specific vitamins that how they play their role in energy production second some of the vitamins are also the part of enzyme we have discussed enzyme in fsc biology where we saw that some of the enzyme they require another non-protein part as their friend as a cofactor so what are these cofactor actually these are vitamins not all vitamins some vitamins especially from the b complex they act as a coenzyme they act as a cofactor for enzyme so that they participate in various chemical reactions that are taking place inside the body in our body thousands of thousand chemical reactions are taking place in, are taking place with these reactions vitamins are involved but a uh, basically enzyme is there in the chemical reaction these vitamins are also playing their role as a coenzyme so this was now here i have uh, mentioned a, a short summary of vitamins if if someone asks me that can you tell me in few lines what is the role of vitamins so i i would say in just three words that vitamins provide normal growth and health they maintain health and normal growth and if you see that 
little bit explanation only little bit so i would say vitamins are involved in the proper growth of your bone hair growth skin growth blood clotting vision reproduction blood formation chemical reactions and most important thing vitamins are in a really very important part of the body so if you remove one or two vitamins from your body what will happen disease will be there and now what are these diseases we will discuss the disease once we start individual vitamins suppose we start vitamin a in detail in that lecture you will see how vitamin a is will cause disease when it is absent similarly other vitamins will also be discussed now if we come to the hormones and we study these hormones in comparison with vitamins we will see some very interesting things the very first thing is that hormones are like vitamins they are like vitamins how hormones organic molecules vitamins organic molecules both are organic molecules both regulate body functions in our body they regulate functions variety of functions what are those functions i have already discussed these functions in urdu for fsc level basic level in advance in future we will discuss this in detail for the mbbs and pharmacy students hormones they how they regulate their body functions the difference between hormones and vitamins will be that hormones can be synthesized in your body yes our body can synthesize hormones different ways different mechanism hormones are synthesized but vitamins as compared to hormone cannot be synthesized in our body if you see just one vitamin which is vitamin d that can be synthesized in your skin by the help of your skin using sunlight and that and that other vitamins are usually they are taken from outside vitamins are taken from outside usually in the diet when you take any fruit vegetables any food that you take that food contain vitamins so this is a very a uh, clear crystal clear difference between hormone and vitamins okay what are the function of hormones hormones are also involved in reproduction so a, a student may ask question they said how is it possible hormone and vitamins both are involved in reproduction exactly this is a really very interesting question you will see in the upcoming lectures that how vitamins are involved in the reproduction and how hormones are involved in the reproduction the style will be different hormones are involved in reproduction but their style and mechanism will be different from that of vitamins second growth regulation hormones are also involved in growth regulation hormones play their important role in growth kid when growing up small kid babies when growing up then their growth is under the control of hormones different hormones your voice male and female sex characters reproduction how the baby is growing inside the womb of mother and how the baby will come out from the body of the mother how the milk will produce in the breast of the mother these are all functions under the control of hormones and neurotransmitter in your brain millions of chemical reactions are taking place nerve impulses are producing and each and every nerve impulse is accompanied by the help of neurotransmitters and some of the neurotransmitter they are hormones actually beside this hormones can play a role in thirst 
water balance if you are in your body water level is increased it will be hormone that because of which the water level will be decreased if the water level is decreased then because of the hormone water level will be increased so water balance body temperature even body temperature even metabolism metabolism is the breaking and making of compounds in your body so metabolism is also under the strict regulation of hormones beside this blood pressure sugar level just like insulin sugar insulin just like vitamin cause disease when absent similarly hormone also cause disease when hormone is increased it will cause problem disease or if hormone is decreased it will also cause problem and disease different disease so this was a comparative study between food vitamins and hormone that was the basic lecture on the comparison next lecture will be inshallah vitamin a vitamin a chemistry vitamin a structure vitamin a functions each and everything as much as possible from my side till then bye bye